drying out after the storm. That's the goal in some local communities today. People in Dixon City were among the hardest hit by severe weather. What a mess there. Mm -hmm. Residents battling flooded basements and streets as crews were in the neighborhood trying to clear the debris. But how did this happen and what's next? WBRE 28, WIOU 22, Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy live in Dixon City for us to explain. Julie? Nick Candace, good evening. Damage across our region, certainly, but one of the hardest hits and worst off this evening still to this day is Dundas Street. As you can see behind me, the water still coming up from under the road with really no end in sight. Now, how did it happen? Well, it's still officially undetermined, but a large storm drain runs under Dundas Street and Scott Road and into the Lackawanna River, and officials believe it got blocked, creating a mess. Now, this storm drain is large, 10 feet wide, 5 feet high, so you can only imagine what could be blocking it, possibly trees, boulders, debris, but it's going to take a couple of days until officials can even get to work. You have to make sure it's safe that he... So the water has to, rain has to stop, and the water, the high flow of water has to stop in order to get him in there. Once he gets in there, we're going to evaluate the structure itself to make sure that it hasn't been compromised because of the water pressure and the amount of force that is, of water that's gone through there. And then we're going to have to get a contractor to come in there and start the operation of removing the debris. Now, the culvert was built back in the 70s. Residents have told me that they've never seen this kind of damage before. Everyone coming out this evening to see it for themselves, and not to mention some of those people with flooded basements. Now, it's going to impact businesses as well. There's a restaurant right on the corner here really concerned how the traffic flow is going to affect his curbside pickup, along with the churches right here on Dundaff Street with, with parking, street parking, no longer a thing. Now, it could take weeks for this mess to be cleaned up and get the road back in shape behind me. So until further notice, of course, this section of Dundaff Street is closed, but you really should just avoid it altogether. And we will keep you updated on this developing story as the cleanup continues. Reporting live in Dixon City, Julie Dunphy, 2822 Eyewitness News.